and it's finally time for the training grounds. Lovely for the Cavaliers. I was always a Blue Devil fan myself. That's a uh, drum and bugle core joke for you people. Ah, the beholders want to run away. I would allow it. Actually, if I'm being perfectly honest, I was really a Phantom Regiment fan, but, you know. Blue Devils was just the first thing that came to mind. Uh, so City Hall requires the Marketplace, but Marketplace requires more wood. So, Lady, what was your name? Adelaide. Adelaide, huh? Now there's some wood, some flotsam. Get me that flotsam. There we go, now we can get the marketplace that tomorrow we can get City Hall and get more money. Bringing in that dough. Alright, so, so far you're finding not much going on in this area. Stay away from the whirlpool. Be good. Oh look, a buoy. Your men spot a navigational buoy confirming that you are on course and increasing the morale. You know what? I think it's still a little loud. So instead of turning down the regular volume, I turn down my volume. There we go. It's a little lower now. I, it was just... It was actually physically hurting me a little. How loud I had it. So now it's a little better, I think. Don't want to have to be fighting, yelling to be overheard from the music. The music's lovely. I love all of the music of Heroes 2, or Heroes 3, but uh, I would like to be heard. <laughs> so we're going to build City Hall, which gives us 2,000 gold per day. And then the capital requires that we get the castle, which is the citadel and then the castle. All right. More stables. You gotta revisit that every week in order to benefit from it. Uh, let's go back to the castle and pick up our stuff. All of the flotsam. And look, some jetsam. Shipwreck survivor. You have pulled a shipwreck survivor from a certain death in an unforgiving ocean. Grateful, he rewards you for your act of kindness by giving you the ring of life. Doesn't join my army or anything. He just jumps back off the boat and goes back to whence he came. Ooh, resource silo. So resource silos provide resources. Like a regular um, mine would. But it's generally what your castle requires most of. So for this castle here, it would be wood and ore. For, say, the tower? That's the giants, titans, uh, basically the wizard from Heroes 2, or Warlock. I always mixed them up. Which one was which? I don't remember. Warlock, wizard. Um, but I think they were, would give gems from their resource silo, and other things will give sulfur, mercury, crystal, yada, yada, yada. But at 5,000 gold, he will give me one more. Oh, shit. See, I know. I told you. Adelaide, I told you what was coming if we went on the water. So we're gonna upgrade our guys here. Just like that. And we are ready for war. Just, just, we'll just upgrade those for sure. No, don't, no, don't dismiss. That would be bad. We're gonna upgrade those griffins though. They were gonna go kick these gogs ass. I ah, see they don't even want to fight me. They want to run like a bitch. All right, Mr. Uh, Black Boat. Where you at? I saw you over here. I want you to stay away from me. Yeah, no, 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 no. You stay up there. I got some pikemen. But it isn't that lovely. Sure, I will bury ten... Oh, okay. uh, yes. The Tree of Knowledge. Upon your approach, the tree opens its eyes in delight. Ah, an adventurer. I will be happy to teach you a little of what I have learned over the ages for a mere ten gems. Just bury it around my roots. Sure. 
I go with advanced artillery, allowing me to control my catapults. Do we really want to go for the evil eyes, even though everything else is around this outer path here? I mean, I have an army to kill the evil eyes now, so I might as well. Oh, hi. How you doing? Fuck you! 15 and 5 turns to 15 and 2. Okay, well, that wasn't great. Yeah, that's right. I was gonna risk it to get away from you, asshole. So he's already claimed everything else out in that water area, then, if, if he's heading this way, he's already that far. So we don't need to go that way. And I'd like to keep her around. Jeez. So the only other hero we've got. I do wish that she had some more troops, but I wanted to give my main guy, Christian, all of the possibilities that he could get. Give him the strongest chance of killing these evil eyes, and see that even ran like a bitch. Like a bitch. Alright. And then the upgraded training grounds. And sadly, we cannot get the Portal of Glory because it's just not unlocked in this scenario. Story reasons and such. But they make up for it. Let's see, the hourglass of something or other that I don't care for. I don't remember what it... I, I seem to recall negative things about that, so I'm just not going to pick it up. Usually I pick up all the artifacts. The soldiers living in the tower teach you a few new defensive tricks. Okay, it's been years since I've actually read these things. I always just click through them because of the fact that, you know, I have played this so many times, so I never really read what, what all of these things are. I was like, yeah, that's the thing that gives me either plus defense or plus attack, sure. Oh, plus one defense per hero. And it's like, mercenary camp, whatever that does. Garden of Revelation, whatever that does. We'll find out. All right, so now we'll get the Citadel. We've almost completely maxed out this castle, guys. Just that quick. And, oh, nope. Look at those beautiful royal griffins. I love the royal griffins. The, the, gray, the gray feathers and fur and the green blue eyes. Just fucking awesome. I could sit here and watch... Yeah, they're definitely green. <laughs> I could sit here and watch them fly in this little tiny pattern for days. But... Back to work. Let's get some gold. Visit the magical well. Get the crystals. Avoid the entrance to that place. Build the castle. Bada bing, bada boom, we got the moat now. The asshole's not coming. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's the entrance that I was referring to. Miram, west. Carrioted, follow the mountains east and south. Well, don't tell them that, you asshole. You enter a rickety hut and talk to the magician who lives there. He tells you of places near and far which may aid you in your journeys. Nope. Doesn't really aid me. Nope, not really. Not all that important. But pretty bad locations. They're literally just here. It's just a bunch of artifacts that I have to deal with. I mean, not deal with, but I have to do stuff with. So, uh, build Brotherhood of the Sword. During a siege, the Brotherhood of the Sword increases troops' morale by two. Sounds good. We'll get it. Oh, the stable master offers to provide your army with horses, increasing your movement for the remainder of the week, and upgrading all your cavaliers to champions. I forgot that he did that. It's pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. A visit and a prayer at the temple raises the morale of your troops. Wait. Oh, that's right. The star axes. That's what I think I was thinking of. You've found several of the best astrologers of the land gathered at a star axis. Happy to have some company, they teach you how to use the sun, moon, and stars to enhance your spellcasting ability. 
I didn't know that we lived in the Dragonlands series where the magician's power is amplified by the stars or, or the, the moon. Oh no! The enemy! He exists! Wait. I was just about to start upgrading everything, but I have 10,000 gold, which is all I need for the capital. Which gives me 4,000 income a day. It'll be great. We'll be poor, but it'll be great. Can I upgrade these guys at least? Good. Good, good, good. Alright, uh, how much would it cost to upgrade them? Why could I never figure this out? Can I just... Just... Eight. Okay, so it's a hundred per. One hundred per, so I need eight hundred more gold. Let us trade me for some gold. I have so much wood, I might as well just trade it all for 800 gold. And there we go. I didn't need to do it for exactly 800 gold. I had 135 anyway, so... But hey, whatever. Alright, Adelaide. That was about as much as you could do in this area. So you go back to the castle. I got plans for you. Don't worry about it. I'll fill you in soon. Hellhounds, go bye-bye. Thank you very much. Mercenary camp. You've come upon a camp of mercenaries practicing their combat tactics. They welcome you and your troops and invite you to train with them. Plus one attack skill. Aha. And then I didn't have him look at the spell book, but we'll buy level three. So every single time. So instead of just a, a little screen that shows them all, it's got them nicely in scrolls here. So this was level one. I believe this is what we got for level two. Ice bolt, uh, scuttle boat, quicksand, fortune. And then this is what we got for level three. Frost ring, earthquake and anti-magic, and these two will be what we get for level four. And the Garden of Revelation. A monk sitting in the center of a garden invites you to meditate with him. You do, and after a short time, you feel enlightened. The answer to the universe is 42. Ah, the sound of music brings you to a small garden where you attempt to sneak up on a leprechaun who is happily dancing about in the clearing. You try to capture him, but his nimbleness allows him to elude you because my ally already... Snatched him. Snatched it from him. Whatever. Yay. Yes, the thing with the stuff. And oh no, I don't have enough resources. What am I? Oh wow, I'm low on sulfur and crystal. I didn't do the other fight in the snow area where I could get sulfur. It's not like I have any crystal anyways, so there's still that problem too. But, uh... Oh, that's a lot for a crystal, and so no, we're just gonna not. Oh no, my enemy, he still exists. Curse the bastard. And it's weak of the centaur, which means that centaurs are out in force. They have expanded their area. They are everywhere now. So, my lady. If I have enough money, oh, I don't have enough money. I was just about to say, if I have enough money, you'll be getting everything, but I don't have the money. Um, nope, not even enough for one more. Okay, well, let's try this then. That, and that. There you go. Now, can I get the last one? Sure. And how much for... Oh, that's 1200 a pop. Well, you know, we're just gonna wait for tomorrow. So you'll start your adventure tomorrow. You know, on second thought, start it off by murdering the centaurs for me. Good job, you did it. Have a cookie. Hellhounds, I will accept griffins from the griffin tower. Thank you very much. It is now the next day, and so I can... Fucking hell. Why? Didn't I start with 4,000? How is that not enough?
there. Give me my damn horse, man. Oh, good lord at all of the goddamn centaurs. And now we'll get double, double movement. Oh, I've already visited this. Ah, sh no, she hasn't. Ah, she visited my stables, but she didn't visit your stables. I think those two should stack. Personally. I think they should stack. And a swan pond. Childhood stories said that a scarlet swan was a portent of good fortune. You decide to rest here for the remainder of the day. That's why. So, I, I mean, I've always, like I said, just skip through these things. And I always remembered that the swan pond was a great thing because you get the horseshoe. You get good luck. But at the same time, as soon as I click this check mark here, watch the green bar there. Poof, all gone. He decides to spend the rest of the day resting there. I just never fucking read the damn thing, and so I was like, why does it always do that? I hate it. So it was like a double-edged sword or something. Not really a double-edged sword. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Double-edged sword where it's like, I'm, you know, being able to get the good morale, but then at the same time having to deal with not anything good. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um. So, um, Heroes 3 implemented the whole thing of elements for your spells. So you can categorize them where I want to cast some air spells. I want to cast some earth spells. I want to cast fire spells. I want to cast water spells. Or here's all the spells in, in, in the book. And then it tells you the level from where when the spell came and then how many spell points it costs and we have 20. So I'm looking at these and I'm seeing that none of these will help me in this situation. Maybe frost ring. Drains the body heat of all any, any units adjacent to the target location without inflicting damage on the target location. Does 45 points of damage. Ice bolt. Drains the body heat. Does 70 points. Okay, well, this might help. Just killed five. That's not bad. Get good morale. Get good morale. Damn it. Get good morale. Get good morale. Damn it. Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, da, 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 this one. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. So they fire a big ball of fire that can do like a 3x3 three three area. That's bad. But hey, at least I'm gonna kick your ass now. Can't throw those fireballs anymore. Asshole. Oh, you're screwed, Magog. And they're all dead. Okay. Yes, I did all of this for the sulfur. And why have I had Christian sitting here? Well, uh, mainly I've had Christian sitting here because of the fact that, you know, his turn ended here. But I actually had him sitting here for a purpose that is not yet completed. And so we will leave it for now. I know I'm not having him do anything. God damn it. I'm so fucking expensive for these goddamn resources. I'll wait another turn. Hey, yeah, Christian, you just hold your horses. Literally. One more turn. Okay, maybe another more, another, another turn. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. So, Christian, now is the time. This is the place. Kick his ass. Got an interesting army here. I don't have the spells that I would like to have. I'm not gonna cast spells at the moment. Oh boy. Um. Interesting. I'm gonna wait. Ha! That's what you get for throwing five. Well, one, two, three, three different. Four, four four different types of fucking troops in your army, and having one of them, one of those four be a necromancer. Ah, oh, you fucking hag. I hate harpy hag so much. Kill the evil eyes. No, kill the evil eyes! One marksman perishes. Damn it. 
I can do everything you can do better. Wait, that's not how the line works. That's not how the song goes at all. Anything you can do, I can do better. Could I, could I, could I, could I, could, could I, there we go. Just wanted to fucking fly at it straight on. It wouldn't do it. Uh-huh. Oh, good one. It quicksanded him. Oh, now my ballast gets a turn. <laughs> fucking heartbeat bastards. Uh, sure. Oh, we're gonna need that good morale, or that good luck there. Shit. Okay. Do that. Uh, destroy some of those. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off with your bullshit. Okay. Fuck it right off. And you can just kill that last thing. Go ahead, stupid halberds. Oh yeah, that slow did did real bad for me. I'm so so hurt on that slow. Said no one ever. Really? You're gonna get good morale, huh? Fuck you! And a fuck you! And a fuck you! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, that's all the stuff in the world.